So Chris, you and I know, and so many others who are in the business of, of giving animals a voice, if you like to put it that way, there are so many areas where animals are being abused. Now the area of hen harriers is something I know very little about. What is the deal with hen harriers? Hen harriers are a bird that should be far more abundant in the UK countryside. We had three pairs in, the, in England this year, 2016. We should have 300. There's no shortage of habitat. The one reason why these birds are in short supply is that they're being illegally killed, principally on driven grouse moors. Because hen harriers eat grouse, and the people who run the driven grouse moors are trying to generate numbers of grouse which are far greater than would occur naturally there. Because the method of shooting that they use is all about big numbers. It's about big kill numbers. Mm -hmm. It's about standing in a line, having beaters driving birds over you. They call it sport. I think we can agree that it's, it's slaughter. It's and so incredible, isn't it, that people find this amusing? I mean, I don't get it. But I, I don't get it at all. The idea of killing anything for pleasure is an anathema uh, to me. I don't want to do it. Um, I certainly don't want to sanction it or see anyone else doing it if it relies upon criminal activity. Mm. And there is, as I say, no ambiguity about the fact that the birds are being killed on grouse moors. We're satellite tracking them. We know where they disappear. Mm. And when we go looking for them, they're simply not there. Elsewhere, other birds of prey, kites, buzzards, eagles, are picked up, shot, trapped and poisoned. And this is going on throughout the year every year. And it's not just the birds. We mm. again know through scientific studies that burning the grouse moors, which happens uh, very frequently because the grouse feed on the regenerating heather, um, is exacerba uh, exacerbating the effects of climate change. We know that draining the moors has caused increased flooding rates, places like Hebden Bridge. Now, Hebden Bridge has always flooded, it probably will always flood, but we're talking about the levels here. Mm. And the levels are possibly significant because of what happens upstream on those grouse moors. Some of these people claim that they're environmentally friendly. They say, they say that managing the, the moors is part of, of looking after the English countryside, which is complete nonsense. Right? Someone sent a tweet the other day that said the average uh, moorland gamekeeper will do more in a week for conservation than Chris Packham will do in a lifetime. Now, I don't consider myself, Brian, as the most active, dynamic or successful conservationist, but I can tell you one thing. You know, if that was a driven grouse moor, um, then you know, I would dispute the fact that that keeper and anyone else working on that state was maximising their potential to benefit wildlife. Mm -hmm. You know, this is a farm. They're, they're trying to maximise a crop of birds to be killed mm -hmm. and, and that's it and, uh, and all about it. And we've been very clear throughout our campaign that we're not presenting an anti-shooting agenda at all. Mm -hmm. We're not even anti-grouse shooting. We're very specifically anti-driven grouse shooting. The high intensity intolerance of raptors burning it to excess and, and draining and so on and so forth. Mm. They're also killing other wildlife which would kill the birds, right? They're snaring, they're putting snares down which are getting foxes and cats and dogs. Yeah, animals suffer in snares, they're non-selective, you can catch pets, you can catch anything in that snare. Mm. And they so, take yes. a long time to die. Yeah, a, a, a slow, Just lingering, miserable and death. this is all to support an industry which is all about killing animals for yeah. fun. So they're killing everything mm. so that something else can be killed. The great sort of thing at the end of it is that we, are, we as taxpayers are actually supporting this activity yeah. because David Cameron increased the subsidy to grouse moors during his £56 pounds a hectare is coming out of our pockets and everyone else out here who pays their taxes and it goes to, to grouse moors. To enable these people to go on with this disgusting practice. Yeah. It's time it ended. I'm all for subsidies if we're paying to benefit the biodiversity and create a sustainable landscape, that's fine. But yeah. on some of the states, Brian, in recent years, because there's a thought not confirmed, as I understand it, but I may stand corrected on that, that mountain hares are capable of transmitting a parasite, which in turn transmits a disease, they have totally eradicated all of the mountain hares on the reserve. Now, ecologically speaking, if you've read the Ladybird Book of Ecology, the Ladybird Book of Conservation, it will tell you that you cannot systematically remove an entire species and not expect repercussions in terms of the stability and sustainability of that environment. And yet these people call themselves conservationists. Unbelievable. It's crazy. It's crazy. And we've grown tired of it, but we're all fed up. You know, mm. we, we can't be lied to anymore. We pick up the truth in the form of poisoned, trapped and dead birds. We've got the science behind us in terms of studies that are being done by independent universities and other bodies in the UK. And we all have, a, a, I think, a greater expectation of being able to enjoy our landscape. Mm. And from my point of view, that means seeing a hen harrier flying through it. 
Please, God, we do soon.